What's going on everyone? This is Brian Weber with another YouTube video and this one's gonna be pretty awesome for all you guys who are always wondering how can I invest my money like through an automated automated way. I have a lot of friends like I just went surfing at Black's Beach and had a really good session with a couple buddies and uh, one of them, one of my good friends Adam actually mentioned uh, like dude how do you invest? How do you, how do I put my money to work? You know I don't want to do it if it's too much work uh, and requires too much effort and I was like dude you need to check out this platform which I'm about to talk to you guys about which is called M1 Finance and I'm like dude it's so easy I'm gonna make a video for today with step-by-step -step how to actually invest your money using that platform and this video hopefully will be very helpful to all you guys that need a like a breakdown and like how to how to do investing and M1 is by far the best platform and brokerage to invest your money because it lit it's free first of all and it's I honestly would never use Robinhood and especially after this past week with the GameStop dilemma where they were blocking people from purchasing whatever stocks they wanted to uh, that's why I never use brokers like that they're crap and I hope no one really got hurt by that and I hope those people pay but anyways we're gonna talk about M1 finance I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, automate the companies that you want to invest in, whether it just be the SPY ETF or the S&P 500, or if you want to just put money every single week in whatever companies that you you think are going to do well in the future. So let's jump over to my computer and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this. And I almost forgot, if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. It really helps to get my channel more exposure and help everyone else that needs help with stuff like this. And also, there is a link in the description below that gives uh, you $30 to both of us. It's kind of like an affiliate link, but more it's going to help benefit you as well. We'll each get 30 bucks if you sign up with M1 and make a, uh, uh, like a deposit there that they require and invest your money. So without further ado, let's jump over and show you guys how to do this. All right, so here we are, m1finance.com. Let's just quickly go over... The difference between the free version and the paid version and i'm going to tell you right now that you only need the, the basic m1 account you don't need the m1 plus um but it does have a lot of perks but for the basic account it costs zero dollars to have that it's not there's no subscription it doesn't cost any money to invest into these stocks unless of course like the etfs you know there's extra fees part of a part of the things you're investing in but um yeah, it's free. But if you want to do M1 plus, it costs more money. I think one of the main differences is you get better rates on borrowing money. You have like a spending and earning ca uh, cash account. You also can, instead of just buy with a basic account, you can only buy the stocks in the morning in the trading window at 630, like once the market opens. But if you have the M1 plus account, you can buy in the afternoon and the the morning and the afternoon. So there's two trading windows you can have. Um, so let's go to, I'm gonna log in. So I'm going to actually create a new account to show you how it looked like from your end, assuming that you have never used this before, because um, it's probably a little bit different on the flow you'll see on the website. So I'm gonna click sign up. Um, I'm not gonna use that, I'm gonna use a different email. Confirm my email address. So this is what you'll see. Um, so you'll create a pie, and a pie is just like a bunch of stocks that you um, put together. It's like a portfolio, in other words. So we can click continue. So this is a pie. It's just a bunch of stocks. So you can pick, say you like Apple, you like Microsoft, Netflix, Google, all the most popular stocks right here let's just, and you could pick whatever you want say for some reason you feel like buying GameStop don't recommend ever doing that but you can and you can buy Facebook so let's just say you could pick any of the stocks you want I'll click continue so I only have seven in my pie in other words it's like a portfolio so M1 is automatically going to split this down the middle but you can adjust the allocation percentages um, however you want so if you want to be heavier in Apple you can do like 20 percent and then maybe keep 15% on Microsoft, put Netflix down to 10, and then uh, let's take a percent off net, 
GM me, GameStop, but I would honestly want to take 13 more off. But this is an example. Don't do this. <laughs> At least the GameStop one. So once you click continue, you'll use the pie to create your portfolios. So you can have, and so you have a one portfolio can have like a bunch of different pies and then you can allocate a percentage to that pie in that portfolio. It's gonna make more sense in a second. So I'm gonna to have to verify my identity really quick. And after that, I have to fill out profile information. So I'm just gonna skip ahead really quick to the good stuff. You're also gonna to wanna to fill out your profile information for uh, where your employment is. And then after that, uh, M1's gonna have like a uh, bunch of questions they'll ask you um, to kind of create some insight for you based on your financial situation and the style of investing that you would prefer. So what is your approximate annual income? I'm just going to pick this one. Total net worth, let's just keep them the same. What's your invest investing experience? Let's just say you have none because you're brand new. What's your risk tolerance? If you're young, um, I would pick high, but let's pick medium for this example. What's your investment horizon? Should be long. How important is liquidity to you? Meaning like how important are, is it to you to get in and out of stocks? And you can say not important because you are investing. You're not trading in this account. How did you hear about us? Let's skip that question. And social security number. And then if any of these apply, which is not very common for uh, just like the average person. So you can just click none of these apply and continue. So once everything looks good, you can confirm. And that should create your new account. So I didn't open that other account because I just wanted to show you the steps because I'm going to show you, I'm going to use my current account because it's just a little bit easier, makes more sense. So I don't have to create duplicate accounts, put my login information in. So this account I started like two months ago or so, and I actually took out half the position before the market sold off a bunch the past uh, this past week. Um, the market seemed a little bit toppy, but anyways, I'm uh, my Current portfolio has $921 in it. And I have about half that, a little bit more than half in cash, getting ready to buy more stocks on my pie when I'm ready. So over here in the top right, you'll see the different types of accounts that you have. I have three on um, this Roth IRA. I'm actually gonna move from Fidelity to here because it's just way easier to manage investments for the long term, instead of having to manually do everything on Fidelity. Um, and then I have another Pi 2 on the sector ETFs. So you can select the ones there. You can also add an additional account, whatever you need. And then you'll have to just fill out all the information that's required. So let's scroll down. If you want to deposit money, you can click this button, which will bring up. It's like for a one time transfer, but we're not going to do that right now. You can turn on auto investing which is this tab right here. I have it off because I'm waiting to uh, buy again when I feel like I want to. But every time you deposit money, when it reaches a certain cash balance that you can set, it will automatically buy the stocks on the day that you tell it to. So we'll scroll down. You can see my pie here. So this is the pie that I have. You have the slices here. This is my portfolio. I just have Brian's stock portfolio pie and this one. You have, oh, on the left here, you have the upcoming trade. So the next time I can buy stocks is 6.30 a.m. Monday. See, and the afternoon is at 12 p.m. Monday if you were part of paying for the M1 Plus. Um, so let's actually go to click this pie. So then I click it, it shows you what I currently have invested and what the returns are and whatnot. And if I go here and I click edit, you can see all the different stocks that are in my pie. If you wanna add another stock, you click this add button and you can choose any other stocks that you would like to add to that pie. I'm gonna hit escape there, hit exit because I'm not going to change anything. So if you wanna do a rebalance, Rebalancing essentially will, uh, the next trade window 
M1 is going to try to get your target percentages, your allocations as close as possible. If they're slightly off, that's all that's going to do. So it's just kind of evening up uh, your positions to be as close as possible to whatever you specified. This buy and sell button, very simple. Click it and you tell however much money that's available for orders, how much you want to buy right now. And this will trigger the next trade window and the same with the selling. I'm going to hit escape. So here's the best part. Besides all this stuff, the funding history holdings, that stuff's self-explanatory. The best part is you click this transfer button right here. I'm not going to go into any of this stuff with spend, borrow, or research or anything like that. The research is like looking up different stocks that you're interested in. Borrowing is like taking out loans and spending is like is for using the money that you have in M1 finance, like kind of like a PayPal debit card in a way. So transfers here. Uh, we're not going to click move money, but the cool thing here is I have rules. You go to rules and you can see what I have set up right now. I have currently right now for my bank account to my main portfolio weekly, I'm doing $115. So if I want to add a rule, I'll click move money and you can do a one-time transfer, recurring transfer. And this second one is how you create the funding schedule which I'm going to show you an example how to do that. If you need to transfer money between accounts, you can do that as well. And then this one's really cool. If you have another account from a different broker and you want to move it to M1, they will actually take care of the whole process for you. You just have to specify the information that they require. So recurring transfer, click that. You select your bank account and to which portfolio. Say I want to go here and I can do weekly. I highly recommend weekly and you can just pick the day of the week. I do Tuesday. And then you have to select right here how much you want to do $115 click continue and then confirm. So every time once I click confirm here, I'm not going to do it. So when I click confirm there, say I did that and this popped up right here. Every Tuesday morning, a deposit's going to be triggered out of my bank account into M1 and then the money clears before the trade window and then M1 is going to execute on that money that I deposited to buy the stocks per the allocation percentages in the pie that I specified. So it's really cool. It does everything for you. All you have to do is deposit the money every week or every every other week or monthly, whatever, you, whatever suits you. The only thing is with the Roth IRA, you can only don't have anything here yet. You, you can only do a minimum of $500 a month. Um, so the minimum has to be $500. So you probably should do it like at the beginning of the month and then sp spread out those buys every week into four into however many weeks there are, just break it into that many buys on your portfolio. Lastly, I want to show you how to create a new pie because this is really important because you're not going to, you can either invest in the one that I'm doing and we can invest together and whatever the pie returns, we'll both make the same amount of money, uh, dividends or market gains or whatever. Or if you want to do your own company, you don't like what I have in my portfolio, you can create your own and you can do that through clicking research. And then you can go to my pies and then you click create new pie and you just select the ones that you want to add to it. So I'm going to do an example. Let's just do like Tesla and Apple. You can add whatever you want. Just go have fun, whatever you want to do with it and click add. And then I can call this, oh, asset already in Pi. So I, it can't be a duplicate, but I think it still worked. So it's just going to be like a duplicate Pi if I were to invest in this Pi. Um, it'll tell you like the performance uh, I don't know, like five, six years back, what those stocks have been doing. And then you can change the allocation. Right now, well, obviously, it'll be 50-50, but you can change this. I think if you click um, go back, click edit, and then you can change the percentages. Say I want to do like 60% Apple and then 40%. Tesla, click save. And then you can update the pie name, pie description there. And then if I want to add it to my portfolio, I just click that. So I'll show you what that does when I click it. 
I'm just going to do an example. I'm going to delete it after this. So I'll click add to portfolio. And now um, I have these two pies that right now 100% is going to this portfolio or this pie rather, and then zero is going to this one. So you can change this to be 50 if you want. I'm not going to do that though. I'm going to keep it at zero. And then you have to adjust that to be equal to 100%. And then I believe you click save up here and that will take care of it for you. Let's go back to 100. I'm actually going to get rid of this, remove it. And I'm actually just going to hit exit so I don't save any of that. So again, I go to research, go to my pies, and then you'll see the ones that you've created so far. Um, and then there's funds here. You can look at ETFs. You can look at individual stocks. You got market news, expert pies that people have created themselves that are being featured here. You can check that out. There's watch list. I mean, all kinds of good stuff. So again, it's very, very easy to use and very simple. Make sure once you've created the pie, you set up a weekly deposit, whatever you feel comfortable with. And so that money gets automatically invested and you just don't have to do anything. You just let it do, do the work for you. The money goes out every week. Automatically, M1 is going to buy the stocks for you that you want. And then, you know, check it every quarter, every year, uh, like, every six months, 12 months, whatever you want to do, and just keep depositing, keep investing. And you really don't have to monitor your, these types of long-term investments. Um, not like every day, like people that are swing trading or they're day trading. This is more like, okay, maybe once a week, maybe once a quarter, you know, once a month, you don't have to spend too much time doing this just to check out what your perform, what the performance is of your portfolio. So it's really relaxing. Um, if you guys have any questions on how to do any of this, please drop me a comment and on this video, I'll be more than happy to help you over email or text where we can connect somehow and uh, I'm happy to help. And I plan on sending this video to a bunch of my surf buddies and other friends that are always asking me how to invest their money. And this literally is a solution using M1 Finance. It is amazing. Like this is one of the only platforms that you can actually buy stocks automatically because you, before you had Wealthfront um, and Acorns, all these other ones, and they only let you ever buy ETFs. And now you can actually buy individual companies. It's amazing. So if you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Let me know what you thought in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my YouTube channel, I really appreciate um, if you uh, hit that subscribe button. I'll be putting out more videos in the future for sure. And uh, again, there's a link below in this video for 30 bucks. If once you open up a M1 account and fund it with whatever the qualified deposit is. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys do and happy investing. Have a good one, guys. Bye.